Grand View was kind of a bust. I mean, from the viewpoint, it, you could see down, but it wasn't very sunny, and there's clouds rolling in. I did get a time lapse of the clouds. That was about it. Um, I just was on Onyx while I was eating lunch, though, looking to see. I think I could do Gemini Bridges heading back into Moab here. Um, 20 minutes out from the trailhead on this side for that 4x4 trail. So I think that's where we're going to go, air down, and then take that back into Moab. And I bet you that closes us off for the day for sunlight. Um, and then I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat. Since I've had sushi, I've had a salad. I'm going to have to take a look there and see what else I can find in Moab. That's something I want to try that I haven't tried before. At least as far as in Moab restaurants go. Some of the restaurants in town close really early. Gas stations close early too. It's really interesting. It's like uh, desert town life. So, but uh, we're gonna head up to Gemini Bridges here in 12 miles away. Whoa. That's crazy. That was Gemini Bridges. That was pretty cool. Um, that is a, uh, used to be able to drive right down to it according to the signs in a Jeep if you wanted to. But uh, it got too fucked up. So uh, of course they 
are restoring it right now and you have a, just a 10 minute walk down from the essentially the mountain biking parking lot which is not bad at all um, we're gonna get back on the road here and head into Moab and uh, got some cool pictures and videos down there so I'm excited about that peace all right the way out of the Gemini bridges viewing area the way into Moab definitely seems like more of a technical trail than the one coming from Grandview Point. So, it's gonna take a little longer to get into town than it took to get here. But that's all good, we're all good. I'm on Gemini Bridges, still heading into town. I feel like I'm driving through a rock quarry. Just look at this, like, cutout in this mountain that I'm on. It is crazy. And, uh, Sully's picking his way through here pretty good. The only issue we're having right now is that the sway bar end link has worked its way loose. Again, on both sides, I'm kind of annoyed I might take them apart tonight and stuff 
um, some zip tie pieces into the hole where the bolt is too small for the opening on the sway bar in the front. I'm running no sway bar in the rear um, because what's happening is even though I double nutted all four of the end link connections, they still have worked loose and they're just popping and clacking and it's driving me crazy. So tonight I might undo all those nuts and stuff something in those holes so that if they do work their way loose again, at least it won't be clanking like this. Super annoying. Anyways, gonna get back to driving now. Highway 191 down there. And that's where we're headed eventually. I think we're gonna do all these little switchies back here real quick. Captain's log. Captain's log. <laughs> oh man. Got some Wendy's to eat here because uh, I didn't really want to try to cook anything tonight. And uh, I'm just tired. I'm making the most of these days is what I'm trying to do. And um, we're going to head back to. Home sweet home, tent stall G1 at Sun Outdoors, and um, probably do some reorganizing, not reorganizing, but uh, taking out of all the crap so that I could look at some maintenance underneath the front of Sully tonight see what's going on with the end links because I'm nearly 100% sure they're popping and clicking and making noises right now. So we're going to do that. And uh, today we did Potash Road to Schaefer Canyon switchbacks to Grandview Point which was really cloudy. I met some crows. Um, I was befriended and it's always a good thing for crows to like you. Actually, they were ravens. I'm sorry, they were ravens. Um, very pretty birds. And Grandview Point was a cloudy, cloudy place. So I did not do the one mile hike because I noticed that I could go do Gemini Bridges. And so we did that and finished up. It took about two and a half hours. Finished up in the dark. Glad I had put all the extra lights on the car. Um, definitely needed to see on narrow highway roads, which is really good, um, and uh, aired back up, came down the highway, need to put a little bit more air tight in the tires tomorrow morning, but depends on where I go, might not make any sense if I got to re-air up here in a little bit, but um, hopefully we'll figure out the issues and then decide what we're doing tomorrow. I've been thinking about doing maybe Goblin State Park. Maybe we could do Chicken Corners, or maybe Hura Pass. Uh, we'll have to take a look at on it, Onyx tonight and see what it says. Evidently, my phone thinks it needs to do something. So, we're going to stop and get into the campsite. Alright, so I got back to the campsite and found out that what had happened was one of the sway bar mounts had actually completely broke off the car so I removed it stuck the bushings and all the remaining parts in this bag and mounted the sway bar to the roof for the end of the trip alrighty that's the end of this episode hope to catch you on the next one